Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to my channel, my dear friends. My name is Abhilash and I'm a trader next door. In this video, I'll be analyzing the chart of gold USD. So if you're watching my videos for the first time, you can subscribe to my channel for regular market analysis. So let's get started. So my dear friends, finally we had some correction on the chart of gold. Yesterday we were discussing about the importance of correction because gold was standing at the peak. It was so funny yesterday because buying was also high risk and selling was also high risk. Because buying was high risk because market was standing at the peak. Selling was high risk because uh, taking a sell means going against the trend of the market. And now we can see that yes, finally we had some correction. Obviously a deeper correction okay, is required, but at least we got something. So right now we can see that market is standing in a 2726, still above 2700. Okay, but uh, this was the retracement we got yesterday. And if we look at the market sentiment, we can see gold rises after sharp fall. Gold rose above 2720 per ounce on Thursday in a likely technical rebound after retreating from record highs with an over 1% decline in the previous session. Gold rally halts. Gold rises on possible technical recovery. So my dear friends, so whatever we had yesterday was just a technical correction, not a trend reversal okay so already we have discussed in a previous videos almost every video i guess that for a trend reversal we need a solid fundamental reason without any fundamental reason there cannot be a trend reversal whatever we will have here will just be a technical correction okay so my dear friend okay let's discuss the trading opportunities today's video is also going to be a little bit complicated i'm extremely sorry so if you're busy doing something right now then please watch the video when you are free okay because you may find it difficult to understand few things i apologize okay so let's get started so let's look at the economic calendar first so this is the economic calendar and we have some news coming up you can see us session will be volatile so if you're a beginner new trader do not gamble with your hardened money and capital market will be volatile but these events are not uh, big events like nfp cpi that can change the direction of the market so there will be some temporary volatility only suddenly if you see a fall also or some upside also it will just be temporary just keep in mind because these events do not have the potential to change the direction of the market completely okay but they are important but not that great or important like the nfp or cps so be careful at the time of news because there can be some unexpected spikes in the market that may hit your stop losses okay now let's talk about gold so on the chart of gold right now we have two possibilities what we have two possibilities on the chart of gold. The first possibility is market going for further correction. Okay. The first possibility is market going for further correction means market will be going down like this. If it goes down also, it will just be a temporary correction, not a trend reversal. Yesterday also we discussed that if you're positional trader, swing trader, okay, you need to look for a better level. I believe the position traders have already exited. Okay, if you're still having a buy, you can hold your buy position as long as gold is trading above 2700. If it breaks 2700, exit from your buy position because there is a high chance that market will go for further correction. If that happens, then position traders and swing traders, you need to exit. Okay, so possibility number one is market going into further correction, not trend reversal. If it does, if it does, then position traders, swing traders, you need to wait for a better entry. And the good news is you will get a good entry, very good entry. And you can look for a good entry around 260, uh, 2650, 2640 that we discussed yesterday. Okay. And if you're a day trader, okay. If you're a day trader, then obviously you need to trade from level to level because the, we can clearly see that fundamentals okay are not aligned right now so that uh, in this temporary correction of gold it will be better for day traders to trade from level to level only for safety purpose it's not a chart where you can uh, sit on a cell and forget if you do that there's a high chance that your position will be slaughtered so uh, level to level sell can be beneficial if market goes for further downside let's discuss one by one okay if market breaks the yesterday's high of 2709, this particular, sorry, not high. If market breaks the yesterday's low of 2709, day traders can look for a sell. Day traders can look for a sell. 
how much you can expect around 40 to 50 pips because we have immediate support around 2700 around 2700 hopefully market will get some support before us session after us session okay try to follow the trend of the market before us session volume is usually low what you can do is you can look for some support around this area if market takes support you can look for a buy okay and in case market breaks it then you can also look for a support on 2690 level to level okay so you, you can go for a sell around this area okay after exiting from the sell if you see market taking support around 2700 or 2690 area we can look for a buy position okay why are we looking for buy around these areas okay we have already discussed in a previous video 2700 is a round number psychological support moreover we have FIBO 50 percent retracement level along with that we can see that uh, 200 moving average also coming up and if you're considering the overall chart okay um then also we can see we have FIBO 38.2 percent retracement level so 2700 is going to play a important role here okay and 2690 because the previous resistance will be working as supports somewhere around this area okay so let's keep our eyes on in these positions and if market surprises us with heavy selling pressure then we can look for a sell below 2690 how much we can expect there should be a drop of 150 to 200 pips means 15 to 20 dollars so if the selling pressure is very high during the us session if you see the market is going down we can look for a sell below 2690 okay but keep in mind that the retracement or correction will be temporary it may continue for three to four days after that market will be continuing the overall uptrend if that happens swing traders and positional traders can look for a buy again clear so this is our possibility number one where we can look for level to level trading if market goes for temporary correction because correction is extremely important in this chart here still we have not received the correction we want okay uh, for example okay okay why correction is important for example okay suppose you need to run five kilometers okay you need to run five kilometers so obviously you cannot run five kilometers at a stretch okay so obviously you, you will run for 500 meters or one kilometer you need to take rest for a while again you, you will run you will take rest for a while you will run you will take rest for a while so this is how you can complete the five kilometers target Okay, you cannot complete 5 kilometers at a stretch. So here also to continue the upside, corrections are always important. Okay. Okay, now let's talk about possibility number two. The second possibility is the correction is over. Goal is adamant. No further downside. Goal will continue the upside again. Okay, so if that happens, okay. <laughs> if that happens, you can look for a buy above 2728 area okay so if the possibility number two is market will continue the upside if you have any ongoing buy continue with the buy position if you are looking for fresh position as a day trader because swing trading is not very uh, safe right now so you can look for a buy above 2728 if market breaks this area okay wait for 30 minutes 35 minutes and just see how does the market behave if you see the market is trading comfortably then we can look for a buy above 2728 okay this time the stop loss will be bigger okay 80 to 90 pips so do not go for a big lot size and if you're a high risk scalper if risk is your middle name you are daredevil kind of a trader okay then you can look for a quick sell of 20 30 pips around 2739 okay 2739 as of now i think 2758 okay 2758 2760 will work as the resistance okay so i don't want to comment about this um, area here i think this will be uh, the resistance for the next for at least this week let's wait and watch how does the market react remember we also discussed about a possibility of market uh, acting sideways so that possibility is still there okay there is a good chance that market may remain sideways for the next few days okay so 2760 on the upside and 2700 on the downside may also act as the um what to say range for the market okay so what is possibility number one possibility number one is my dear friend the market may go for further correction that will be temporary correction so swing traders position traders you need to wait exit from your buy positions and day traders we can do go for level to level trading sell below 2709 okay if market takes support on 2700 269 then we can look for a buy in case the selling pressure is too high we can look for a sell below 2690 okay 
Positional traders, swing traders, no, no positions here. You just need to wait for a good level around 265040. Okay. Possibility number two is, okay, no further correction, goal is bullish, it will be uh, going up again. If that happens, we can look for a buy above 2728 area with a bigger stop loss and small lot size because it is risky again. And we can continue the upside. As of now, there is a high chance that market may remain sideways or at least in a range between 2760 to 2700 for this week. Okay. And ultimately, we can expect the market to continue the upside because if we look at the daily chart, okay, you can see the daily chart is still bullish. Okay. If you look at the weekly chart, okay, though market is showing price rejection from above, but earlier also market has shown candles like this. So <laughs> let's not waste time okay so anyways okay uh, follow proper risk management because things are a little critical and obviously okay anything <laughs> may go wrong in the market okay risk uh, sorry loss is the only thing that trader can control okay so follow proper risk management do not gamble bye bye take care and during the us session if the market is too volatile just follow the trend okay bye bye take care